Pastors who once endorsed Roy Moore's Senate bid in Alabama are split on their support of the embattled Republican as his campaign is tainted by scandal. Five women have accused Moore, 70, of sexual misconduct when they were teens and he was an adult. Kayla Moore, wife of the former Alabama Chief Justice, posted a letter to Facebook on Sunday from about 50 pastors who endorsed his candidacy. Only most of the missive was penned months ago, during his primary runoff with Luther Strange. The Daily News reached out to about 50 of the pastors listed on the letter. While many declined to respond, others offered mixed feelings about the veteran lawman's troubled campaign. I still support him, Mike Allison, pastor at Madison Baptist Church in Alabama, told the Daily News. That HASNT changed a bit. Allison, who has known Moore for 20 years, said he initially backed the candidate for his pro-life and traditional marriage stances, values he still thinks are most important to the campaign. I'm a Bible-believing Christian and he is as well, Allison said. Had Moore done the things HES accused of, I believe he would, they said, Allison told the news. Bryn and a sign up Frank Ruddish, a pastor at Independent Baptist Ministries, accused the women of lying, saying there are holes in their stories. The reason I don't believe it is credible is because they haven't said anything in 40 years, said Ruddish, who signed the letter. Rick Simpson, a pastor at Summit Holiness Church in Millbrook, called the allegations against more politics as usual and noted that he hasn't been charged with any crimes. I thought in America that you're innocent until proven guilty, Simpson said. So I am still 110% standing by Roy Moore. Moore, who won a primary runoff in September against Tenson. Strange, has denied any wrongdoing. Trenton Garmon, his attorney, told MSNBC on Wednesday he would always ask a woman's mother for permission to date her no matter how wide the age difference. Multiple reports about Moore have emerged since the first women came forward to accuse him of misconduct when a few were as young as 14. That prompted many sitting senators and the Republican National Committee to pull their support of the firebrand conservative. Jonathan Lee R-N-S-T-R-E-U-T-E-R-S on Monday, the day after Kayla Moore posted the letter, Beverly Young Nelson said Moore tried to force her face into his crotch when she was 16. The adult Moore had once in the 1970s offered her a ride home from her job, but pulled over and groped her breast, she tearfully said at a press conference. The allegations have brought backlash to some congregations, like the Pioneer Baptist Church in Grand Bay. Joseph Smith, the church's pastor, previously said to campaign officials he backed more over Strange, he told local Fox affiliate Waller. But after that he never heard from the campaign, and WASNT sure why his name was on the list. Another pastor on the list said he hadn't spoken to more in years and WASNT involved in state's politics. Not my state. Not my issues. Drive. George Grant, a pastor at Parish Presbyterian Church in Franklin, Tennessee, told NBC affiliate WSMV. Back in Alabama, Thad Endicott said Moore's wife reposted the letter without checking for his approval. The pastor of Heritage Baptist Church in Montgomery recently told AL.com he no longer backed Moore and wanted his name scrubbed from the letter.